I need movement. Get the music. Thank you, sir. Such a gentleman. All right, back to work. We're running late night shifts right now because I got to get this done. And I'm back in my rhythm. I'll be with you in a second. Gray spray paint. I need space. I need a black spray can with the fat cap. Where's the mean streak? Welcome to school. The golden rule is love. The more you share, the wiser you are. That's why I want to teach more, and I want to be taught, too. So I start, I go from dark to light. It's going to have, boom, it's like bones and birds, a falcon, un pájaro. This is an important piece. This is going to the mocha. This is an honor. I'm very fortunate, very grateful to, you know, even be in there. In the middle of Earth Fisher's doing this amazing show. And then I'm with all these other great names that are in the permanent collection, but then I'm the bridge. I'm in the hallway. And so one piece, the roll call goes on one side. So the real title is Para Mi Gente, Los Pintores de Nuestro Alma. For my people, the painters of our spirit. So it goes Brimstone, Samo, Basquiat, Warhol, Keith Haring, Lichtenstein, Pollock, Rothko, Duchamp, Rauschenberg, de Kooning, Saitwambli, Picasso, Schnabel, Longo, Sarah, Ayer, Motherwell, Hearst, Prince, Rubens, Ruche, Hopper, Gaines, Brimstone, Bradford, Glenn Ligon, Negroes. Curry, Stelazo, Lopez, Jasper Johns, Bourgois, Bacon, Sachs, Deitch, and Hope. Mira nomás, I got the key to the door. Brimstone, MSK, AWR, and Last to Survive. And then the Falcon, which is the one we're working on, goes on the other side. The falcon, I read somewhere that it was my spirit animal. And I've always been fascinated by the phoenix and the eagle and the parrot and all this other dope birds. And so the R and the A have the, have the wings and the talons and it has the head. And there's some Basquiat references in there with this pyramidic crown forms. So the Falcon and the roll call, they were at the Mocha Gala 2013, and it was an amazing event. I still, to be perfectly honest with you, man, I still haven't even processed that event in my head yet. I had been to a gala before, but this was the first time I was like part of it. And that's one of the things I'm grateful to Mocha, grateful to Jeffrey for even giving me the opportunity to be a part of that, share that experience. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I hope that a lot of the people that get to go there enjoy it. It is really for them. A week after, teen night, man, I was just blown away, bro. And I never went to prom or anything like that in high school, so this was like me kind of indulging in my prom night or teen night, you know? And I was just like trying to figure out the new dance move and all that other stuff they were doing. And then I saw all my students and they were over there working. You know, they were printing shirts and they were telling other teens how to sign up for the program. The Louis Vuitton Young Artist Program. That was dope. The Young Arts Program is a group of about 30 kids who uh, applied. It's, it was a, a whole long application process to get in to become uh, interns at the museum. And setting up for Teen Night really is our main goal, as well as making art with uh, Edgar Arsenault and Retina. So Retina is a street artist, and the group that Retina worked with got to make um, their own paintings on these huge canvases that are down in the courtyard. And Arsenault's group got to make films. At the heart of it, I mean, art making is really about problem solving. And so fundamentally, I mean, our projects are more similar than they are different. But I think that the way in which a painting emerges from a background is really quite different than the way in which one tries to assemble together a scene in a film. 
So my whole thing was we were gonna start a conversation because I deal with words, right? And they didn't paint words, but they have to communicate. And they, uh, they came out with amazing artwork. What it's like to be a, an adolescent, what it's like in your teen years, and what it's like to become an adult. And mind you, at this whole time, they're also planning this teen night thing. So they're figuring out their band and who's going to be the DJ and who's going to be singing, what else, what kind of other events they're going to do to make all the kids have fun. And these kids are very intelligent. And for me, it was just an absolute pleasure to work with them. I was uh, transformed myself, I must say. <laughs> I found out that Retina is probably one of the most renowned graffiti artists and street artists today of our time. And the fact that we get to work, we got to work with him, it was just amazing. We went to his studio and we got to see some of his previous work and he got to explain like his aesthetic and we got to sort of see him behind the scenes and kind of get to see a side of him that most people don't get to. So you got to remember to have fun. You know, even in the midst of dealing with all the craziness that comes with it. He really taught us a lot and he really gave great advice and he really helped me personally figure out where I wanted to go with my art and what I did. And so he was really influential and just really awesome. He was a great mentor. A year ago, I, I actually heard about Retina and I saw his art and I was like, oh my God, I need, like, if I ever met someone like that, that would be incredible. And then half a year later, I found myself in a room painting next to him. It was probably one of the most intense moments of my life because I was just like, as I was painting, it just clicked on me that I was painting next to a famous artist and it was just like, it was just mind blowing. And I don't know, I think in so many ways, it just, it, it, it impacted me. I'm very proud of him, very proud to be a part of it. And thank you, Louis Vuitton, Mocha, for that as well.